Art Zone was there for the 15 in 1 photography exhibit. In the summer of 2010, local photographers from various backgrounds with differing skill levels contributed one shot of one model, Meredith, for an exhibit at the Art Gecko Gallery, located at the galleries at Sunset Center. From the subdued to the totally unrestrained, our model strikes a singular pose, revealing many sides but remaining undefined. American Girl, Brad McBride. The idea for this photograph came from the popular American Girl doll series. Each doll comes from a specific era and has her own storybook. Meredith has such a unique style and presence that it got me wondering what her storybook would be like. These Eyes, Steve White. My piece was titled These Eyes mainly because I wanted to draw attention to her eyes. I could honestly say these eyes are crying because my original concept fell apart. After 40 years of shooting photos, I've learned that there's always a shot. The One, Lee Hopkins. Texas Traverse. Gentry Houghton. The week before the shoot, a guest wrote a column that compared the world of fashion with climbing. With those thoughts floating around in my head, I decided to put her in a pair of heels. Thus, the Texas Traverse was born. Meredith, Victoria Taylor Gore. My photograph of Meredith is a still taken from a video that I did. The aged film effect was added to the video for the grainy texture and surface blur and watercolor filters gave the video a soft and dreamy film look. Texas Style Graffiti, Greg Collins. Where does the power come from to finish a race? It comes from within. This is where my ideas come from. Spaghetti Western Supermodel, Melissa Lofton. It is what it is to you and to me. I think the viewer can use the title to come up with their own story, or at least that's what I like to do. Meredith, Tom Higley. For this photograph, I reverted back to my days at Amarillo College in the late 1950s. Back then, I learned how to use Tri-X film along with high contrast ortho film to turn normal black and white prints into high contrast photographs without any gray areas. I was able to do the same thing in 2010 using Photoshop CS4 without having to return to the darkroom. Meditate upon nature, dusty rains. Linear, literal, and logical. This image depicts the literal meaning of the word upon by using a linear expression literally in an illogical situation. Other Side of the Looking Glass, or Mad as a Hatter. Ralph Duke. This photograph evokes the visual imagination sparked by the first time the viewer experiences the Mad Hatter and provides an insight to Ralph Duke's creative mind as he interprets what he sees through his lens. I, Dolores Maldonado. I like to create, I like to dream, I like to think deep. I like to think simple, I like to love, I like coffee, and I like to play on words. Courtyard Nymph, Candace Hurst. My original idea for this project was much different than this. I had originally planned on an idea consisting of a Japanese geisha with a gothic twist. I must say though, I was very pleasantly surprised, and I think my model was too. Contrast of the Soul. Megan Carlton. This project, for me, was a chance to bring a vision that I'd had nearly two years ago into existence. The Angel in the Field. For me, it represents a season in life that most experience brokenness and despair countered with beauty and hope. Autobiography 624 2010. 
Israel Guajardo. What I'm after is the accidental image captured before, during, and after the button on my camera has been pressed. It's like baking. You have a recipe, you vary from it, and you surprise yourself by how wonderful it turns out. Another time, another place. Michael Norris. My idea for this shoot was to focus not the modern day edgy, in your face look. I went for a time when the look was classy and feminine. Subtle, sexy, where the silhouette of fitted clothes and just a peak of skin left more to the imagination. David Allen Corbin, A Daydream Encounter. A week before the start of shooting, I heard the song by the monkeys, Daydream Believer. Oh, I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. Sometimes it's the memories of the day-to-day -day experiences that influence my art.